you right then guys so welcome back to a brand new video today we are fitting a engine bay cover now it's actually from a mate of mine he's actually a youtuber as well Markel Knight he's actually created these engine bay covers for the ST150 engine they've been perfectly designed to fit just over like the HT lead area um, now I wanted to fit bonnet vents um, I've been wanting to fit bonnet vents for a while but I didn't want water to come through the bonnet vents and just sit on the top of the engine um, and just in like the spark plug area. So this is kind of like perfect design for it. Wasn't the biggest fan of the big, big um, kind of covers which fit over the top of the whole engine. I much prefer this kind of look here. Now the quality of these does look really good. They've been perfectly created and designed to perfectly fit just in all the tiny little recesses on the engine as you can see these tiny little cutouts just here and um, they're quite thick they're aluminium so they are pretty strong at the moment this is just a brushed aluminium of it I believe but I'm thinking to get this either painted or anodized purple just to match the color theme but I might do that in the future at some point but yeah this was only about 25 quid I think which is pretty decent price in my opinion but I have also got a discount code for these if you guys are interested I will link his uh, website I'll just put the discount code here which is JMNC10 for 10% off with the discount as I said I think it's about 25 quid but you get all the fitting kit there's only uh, two bolts and these two kind of let's grab them you've got these small kind of I don't know what they are but they've been specially made to fit in these two small holes in the top of the engine and base. I've got to find that. Oh shit, mate, that better not be gone. Oh fuck, how am I gonna get that? Do not do what I just done and nearly lost one of these because these are important. I will open the engine bay and show you exactly what you need to do, but. These do just very tightly fit into these two small holes in the top of the engine cover, uh, the rocker cover. And as you put the screw through it, they are threaded on the inside. As you put the screw through it, um, they do kind of flare up and open up to grip inside that hole. Um, so that's that. Sent me out a couple of little stickers, so I'll probably chuck one of these on my sun strip just on the inside. And he also sent me out a little pack of Harry bows, so cheers mate for that. Um, but yeah, let's get to the engine bay and we can have a look at how you fit these. It's so simple and easy, you'll see when I do it, simple. Right then, so this is my engine at the moment. Obviously, if I'm adding um, bonnet vents just up here, there is gonna be water just sitting in this recess here. So I wanted to get a engine bay cover just to protect from water maybe sitting in here and maybe seeping through into the spark plug area but as you can see this fits perfectly if i just get the camera off actually so as you can see this fits in perfectly in all of these little crevices and they're perfectly made to fit in there so what you did say about the spark the ht lead sorry um, you just want to try and make sure that they're as flush as possible, um, especially on this point here. They're not too bad, they are poking up a little bit, but these two screws just sit on these two holes here if you can see them. So it just rests in there like that. Now it's only secured by these two points, so this point, this side can lift up slightly if your HT leads aren't perfectly kind of sitting flat. He did say something about aftermarket HT leads are a little bit better, so they're a bit, bit more flexible. Um, which I might do in the future. But yeah, let's just work on getting these things in these small holes, then whack them through in the top, and that's pretty much it done. Right, so all you really need to do is with these, he said just give them a little pinch so they look a little bit smaller at the bottom, so they will just push in a little bit easier. And if they are tough to get in, what you can do is leave them like that, put the screw in the top and just tap it down with a screwdriver. So we'll get both of these just pushed into the hole slightly. Just like that. Now they are pretty tight already, they're kind of gripping. So I'm just gonna get a screwdriver, put these in by a few threads, and then just tap them down. So yeah, as you can see, I haven't pressed these down fully because they are pretty tight already. So I'm just gonna put a few turns on this. Just like that, and I'll do the same with the other one as well. 
So yeah, now they're screwed in a couple of turns, I've just got this Allen key bit, um, and I'm just gonna tap that down in there perfectly, remove that screw. And as I said, as these screws are screwed in fully, the bottoms will flare out, so it will grip even tighter. So I'll just do that one as well. That one's all in. So that literally just sits on there like that. Um, and then when obviously these screws can possibly get some new screws, maybe black ones or something. I'll just put that down in there, find where the threads are. Do the same on this side as well. And literally just tighten them down. It does get a little bit tighter to turn the further you go down. I think that's just the the uh, nut or whatever it's called just flaring out. So now pretty tight. Now they're both nice and tight. Now it's just slightly up on this point here, but I think if them HT leads were kind of down there, I think he said that he'd had some weight on his HT leads, so they kind of bent them a little bit. But yeah, I might just try and tighten that up a little bit more. So that is now a lot more stable. Um, obviously it's just this side because there's no bolts on this side, but really don't think that's gonna be an issue. I might just try and poke these down a little bit more at some point. But yeah, that's all fitted. And I think that looks pretty clean, you know. I am happy with that. And there we go, guys. It really is that simple. So it literally only took me like two minutes to fit this. Um, the only thing which does annoy me a little bit is this side which is the HT leads obviously, but I think if I upgrade them, um, they might be a little bit more supple or might be able to like poke them down a little bit better. Um, could actually stick that down a little bit, but you know, it's just one of those things. But I think that is really good product, which is clearly designed perfectly for this engine. Um, and it's exactly what I wanted it for. And obviously if I do add the bonnet vents, which will just be sitting above there, water isn't going to be going down and mass amounts of water isn't just going to be sitting down in the uh, HD lead area and the spark plug so give me a peace of mind for that aspect but yeah as I said I might get this anodized at one point or just paint it myself but he did say that he might do a few more designs of these in the future and um, I just wanted to go with the the plain one with no holes and um, he has got one with triangle cutouts in the middle um, obviously I mainly wanted an engine bay cover to protect it from any uh, water that might come through the vents, so that's why I went with this one. But I'm happy with that. Um, I do need to change that at some point. Horrible red, get that purple or something. But yeah, I think that looks pretty clean. And when it's painted or anodized, I think that will look a lot better as well. So just gonna close the uh, close the bonnet. There we go, guys. All done. Simple as that. And there we go guys, that is literally it. Such a simple and quick, easy mod. I think that probably is one of the quickest and the easiest things that I've actually done to the car to this date. Um, but yeah, perfectly designed. It's got us in mind with just the, the ease of fitting. Do use that discount code. I'll just pop it here, JMNC10, just for 10% off. They're cheap enough anyway guys, but the 10% is just a little a little extra in it really and I think they do look pretty decent as well so there is dif different designs on his website if you do want to go with just looks for example um, I think the other one does look kind of cool it does show the HD lead so if you've got like a different color HD lead for example that will still be showing so yeah sorry it's only another short one um, my last video was another short one as well I um, don't know if you've seen it the speaker upgrades definitely give that a watch if you are looking to just upgrade your uh, sound system in your car really just another quick and easy modification to do um, so yeah just go check that out if you haven't watched it but yeah I'm gonna leave the video here so thank you all for watching again let me know what you think definitely head over to his website have a look at them remember to use that discount code so yeah thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video